This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, buddy! And guess. Welcome back to Miles Edge, Face Attorney Investigations Prosecutor's Path, everybody. This time with sound, because we <laughs> tried recording this a few minutes of this episode, and then stupid OBS wasn't recording the sound for, like, literally no reason. Anyhow, we're on the Inherited Turnabout, end part one still. You know, <laughs> Marty's been caught up already, so we don't have to recap. Thank someone, goodness. <laughs> someone threw up on the ground, but, hmm, this smell and this color. Don't tell me this is a puddle of tea. <laughs> Unacceptable. Whoever. The throw up though is acceptable. Throw up is acceptable. Someone spilled tea? I don't think so. I know you shouldn't cry over <laughs> spilled tea, but it's, it's just so sad. so sad. They're statues of a couple in Roman costume. Are these by Pierre Hoquet too? I think these were made in the middle years of his life, at the height of his fame. He modeled them after the Roman gods, at the request of his beloved wife. The piece is entitled Venus, the Goddess of Beauty, and her manservant. I think it's obvious who wore the pants in that relationship. Sculptures of a man with the face of a moon and a woman with the face of a sun. The man looks kind of gloomy, though. Were these also made by Pierre Hoquet? Yes, it seems he made these in his youth when he was enthralled with the stars. How could somebody make some, like a sculpture like that when they're a kid? Some kids are born prodigies. Apparently. The piece, the piece likens the relationship between the moon and the sun to something closer to home. The piece is entitled, My Parents. I think we know who wore the pants in that marriage. Yeah, maybe the oh, wife. Is Larry drawing, I, I know he's drawing Judge Courtney, but it does kind of look like he's either drawing the fountain or the puddle of tea. He's like, oh, someone barfed on the ground. This is so <laughs> this is interesting. Gonna be so good. He just puts bullet brown on his like, thing. It's a Damn. masterpiece. And then it goes into a postmodern art gallery. Yeah, and it gets millions of dollars. <laughs> on this service cart, Miss Hall has prepared her tea set. The winner of the art festival is Broken Cracker on a Plate. <laughs> According to the pamphlet, the museum's also famous for its tea. Yes, it certainly had a flavorful, rich taste. Come see the art and drink tea. It's a I think Iroh mm. is the co-like host here. <laughs> yes. It seems this tea set was also made by Mr. Dover. Also, uh -oh. Kitty appeared. So the tea set was made by the victim. Let's take a closer look. Yes, if the if our commentary like has a different audio quality, it's because we're recording in a different place with a cat. With a cat. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a single stain on this pure white tablecloth. Take hold of the edge and focus your mind. Then in one go, pull. Okay, I hope you're not planning to do anything bad. No, don't worry. Even if I failed, the tablecloth would just be dyed in nice black a la tea. The tablecloth looks better white. Please refrain from changing it. I wonder about that. It might look better in another color. Like pink, or blue, or tea. This ain't Putt-Putt. You don't get to change the color of the main character. <laughs> but I love that in Putt-Putt. Yeah, we always make him can... blue or green or red. <laughs> yeah, because orange is disgusting. And yellow is not great. I like yellow, but Artie does not like yellow. You were the one who called the yellow color disgusting in our Putt-Putt Joins the Circus. Okay, that's Let's because play. that one was disgusting. That was a disgusting yellow. There's a container with Ceylon teas leaves in it. Is it Ceylon? 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 I don't know. To prevent exposure to sunlight and moisture, the container is airtight and made of tin. This should help preserve the quality of the tea leaves. Or you just put cool. them in the refrigerator. Boom. What about the coins? So, this tea set was made by Isaac Dover. Those are saucers, Marty. Oh, they look They like... look like the Mario coins, though. Yeah. yeah. Fancy stuff, huh? Okay. I'd say this tea set is worth thousands of dollars. Please be careful with it. Uh, this tea set is such a treasure! Please don't look so excited. If I recall correctly, Miss Hall was a huge fan of Mr. Dover. Teapot data jotted down in the organizer. Wait, oh, that's not happening. all of it, is it? Hey, Edgy! What is it? Be careful with that teapot! Why must I be warned by him of all people? But we, there's still more to examine. Madame and Monsieurs? Would you care for some tea? Miss Hall. Ah, oh, Katie! No, I'm fine, thanks. And Edgy, you guys can have some. 
Okay, you and the guys can have some. Uh, well, since you asked, we might as well take a short break. Certainly. Thanks for the tea! <laughs> Cat also liked the tea. Wow, it's so tasty! What kind of tea is this, Mr. Edgeworth? It's Ceylon tea, known for its citrus aroma. However, Miss Hall, is this the same tea you served us this morning? Yes, that's right. Was it not you to your liking? <laughs> Don't you know how rude it is to serve the same tea to someone twice in one day? day? <laughs> no, it's not that. The tea we had this morning had a slightly different aroma. They put normalium in it and this has a different aroma. How strange. It is the same Ceylon tea I served this morning. Caesar, no, you don't get to jump on the computer. <laughs> <laughs> there shouldn't be anything different about it. What's wrong with you, Edgy? Quit nitpicking about the tea Katie so kindly prepared for you. Larry, what are you getting us so upset about? I'm not upset! You're just being a rude jerk! And then I told you to call me Laurie's! Sheesh, I'm not gonna talk to you anymore! Wow! It's like arguing with a child. Loris, I wonder what's wrong? I'd like to ask him that later myself. And I also need to speak with Miss Hall. I don't have any evidence that shows she's the culprit, but... I dare say she is the one who set up the poison gas trap. Oh wow, we're just going into the accusations, huh? Mmm, -hmm. teapot. Katie's favorite teapot. <laughs> Katie's well, I, favorite teapot? I'm glad we have that information. And the pottery shard. I forgot about that. <laughs> we have a cat that wants to leave. I'll yeah, let him out. I'll let him out and I need to wash my face. Come on, you can go out. It's fine. <laughs> Dance. Kay's like, no, we can't do the chicken dance in this game. They but Mr. Edgeworth's Edgeworth just run furiously like... running around Kay. <laughs> can't catch me, Kay. <laughs> Ooh, more sculptures. It's a statue of a brave warrior fighting a snake. Was this also made by Pierre Hoquet? No, it was made by Michelangelo. <laughs> it appears to be one of his early works when he was enamored with fantasy and myths. The statue represents his heroic res resolution to oppose helpless difficulties in his youth. The title is... The Math Test. <laughs> I know that feeling all too well! <laughs> wow. I feel like these are gonna like be super important or something. I don't think so. Maybe not. They're statues of a couple in a Roman costume. Oh really? He made the same he one twice? He made the same twice. one twice. And, what about um, the and Larry is flipping them off. <laughs> No! <laughs> kind of looks like it a little bit. Or it's like, man, that Venus sure is a cutie. Yes, that's really what it is. Oh boy. Judge Cool. Mr. DeBest, you're getting a bit in my way if you stand here. Humph! I am not going to move! Just do what you can over there! Don't say that! It's probably the best if you just stand over there. The best, you say? Okay, I'll go stand over there. So, anything is fine as long as you add the best to it. I feel that your conduct. <laughs> conduct. <laughs> conduct. Conduct. Contact. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. I feel that your conduct thus far has clearly been out of line. I will make sure to bring this matter upon the PIC. Do whatever you want. But in return, we're going to do whatever we want as well. If I remember correctly, you're the little Miss Great Thief. I will have to report your misconduct to the by PIC as well, young lady. Sure, since it will only serve to increase my fame as the Great Thief. <laughs> it seems even Judge Courtney is unable to get a handle on Kay. Alright, Delicia, what's up? Oi, how's the investigation coming along? Have you found anything? Hoi, not quite actually. We haven't found any clues yet. <laughs> Hoi, I'm Teddy! Hoi! <laughs> You're doing it wrong! Always only used when you're shou showing. Showing. Oh, showing. I don't know why I said showing. Always only used when you're showing someone something. Also, yes, he's used to confirm, and this is also a greeting. Yep, is used when you're afraid. That's just eep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Fi? Yeah. Fi is used when you don't like something. Always used when you're calling someone. Hmm, I 
I see. I didn't know it was that deep. Oi, oi, the stretch roof. Did you catch all that? Okay, be more serious. Yes, see. Oh, we don't get to actually like talk to her fully. No. Did we miss our opportunity to show her our prosecutor's badge? I think it'd be okay. No, it's really funny where it's like, she's like, oh, so like you're a defense attorney too. It's like, no, I'm a prosecutor. My father was a defense attorney. She's like, oh, so you're a prosecutor, not a defense attorney. Well, that's okay. I, everyone has a rebellious stage. <laughs> I didn't become a prosecutor to be for because I was rebellious. rebellious. That's great. All right, Kate. Miss Hall, where have you been until now? I was showing the remaining guests out and handing out complimentary gifts as an apology. Did you require my services? Yes. There are a few things I want to ask you about. If my suspicions are correct... She's the one who set up the poison gas trap. Are we gonna do <laughs> But we get the happy music! How exactly did you prepare the melted sculptures from 18 years ago? My, so you know about what happened 18 years ago. It's because 18 years ago I photographed Monsieur Dover's sculptures. Using the photos as a base, I managed to create replicas. Replicas? The Zodiac sculptures had been an unfinished work, so I wanted to complete it somehow. Because I'm the, the one who accidentally melted Monsieur Dover's sculptures! Not as French as I think it used to be. <laughs> Listen, it's been how many weeks?! I know, but even it's less French than you were earlier this episode. <laughs> it's fine. I'll fix it. <laughs> Just like you did Mas Maggie Bird's voice. Maggie Bird is the worst. <laughs> no, she's not. John Armstrong was the worst. True, but Maggie Bird and is Rocky. like Maggie Bird. Like I like saw her. I'm like, oh, she's gonna be in this for literally one episode. And Spark Brushel. Spark and quote. Brushel. And, quote. Oh. and could you tell me why the Autumn Palace resembles the Winter Palace so much? Well, my apologies. Do they really look so alike? I think I may have gotten some of the decorations mixed up. She's obviously lying, but I haven't gathered any evidence to prove that yet. All right. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -da. I'm the forensics guy. And I'm All right, Larry. <laughs> Larry, tell me what you're hiding. You, you two, stop glaring at each other like that. I'm not glaring, Kay. I'm using my artist's perspective. Edgy's the one who's glaring. Then, if you know what's good for you, you will tell me what you're hiding right now. No way, dude! Didn't they just say that I'm not talking to you anymore? Aren't you talking to me right now? Yeah, Ooh. From now on! From now on, I'm definitely not talking to you anymore! What? I just realized maybe he saw Kate, like, in the act of something. He's like, but she's such a hot babe. I can't give her away. <laughs> I can't give her away. Also, I just realized our weird, like, forensic scientist voice sounds vaguely like, um, the bird from, um, Spy Fox 2. You there! You can't go into the museum! Oh, the Wax Museum is not open! The Wax open. Museum is not open! A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> I'm not going to get anywhere like this. Looks like I'll have to force it out of him. I'm the park guardian. Boom, 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 boom. Larry, what are you hiding? Hmph. Oh, he's gonna turn into the anime character that grunts. Hey, come on, Mr. Edgeworth, this isn't the time to be playing around, you know. Hmph. I wasn't playing around. Still, it looks like Larice won't be talking anytime soon. If he isn't going to talk to us willingly, then I'll just have to force him to talk. I may just have something on what he's hiding. I should present that to him and see what he says. Can we look at the organizer? Cause I don't know what we have. We have a pamphlet. We have a teapot. We have a <laughs> Larry, rock Larry, you were lamp. there 18 years ago and you smeared the chocolate with your fingers. No, it makes zero <laughs> sense. <laughs> we have he's the rock actually, salt lamp. We've got the family he's photo. He's one of the children in the family photo. He's like Gustavia's <laughs> son or whatever. <laughs> the he's one the on the, the left the or hair. the one on the right? He's oh, he's the, the one on the, the left. Hair. That one looks a little more like Larry, but... <laughs> the other one, yeah, no. Pottery shard. Oh, pottery. Larry, take a look at this. Ugh, what's that? Larry, I've got a feeling that what you're hiding is related to the tea and this pottery shard. Uh, uh -huh. 
Well, if you're not going to talk to me, I can always hand this shot over to Judge Courtney. Wait! I'm, I'm trying to keep a clean image for Justy! I don't want her to see how I'm dirty myself! I can't imagine what part of you can be considered, can, considered clean, but... If you don't want her to declare you guilty, I suggest you speak truthfully now. I... I got it! I'll tell you! Alright, that was pretty easy. Larry, it's time you confess to what you've done. Uh, how can you be so cruel to your best friend? <laughs> the same way you can be so dishonest to your best friend. <laughs> well, you can stop glaring at me! I promise to tell the truth this time for sure! I... I just thought I'd pour Justy some tea. But my hand kind of slipped a bit, and it broke. I accidentally broke the crazy expensive teapot! The butts strikes again. Why am I not surprised? Oh boy. You've really done it this time, Lorise. What should I do, Edgy? I... I... Katie will hate me! Crying to me about it won't solve anything. First, you should apologize to Miss Hall. <laughs> oh no! Wow! <laughs> is that so? My teapot. Was... This is like Sora getting on his hands and knees in Kingdom Hearts 2. <laughs> Wait, I don't remember that though. Oh, you don't? Oh. What world is that? Hollow Bastion. Oh, I don't remember that at all. Well, I, my first Kingdom Hearts 2 video uploaded today, so <laughs> that series will be going Shameless on. Shameless plugs. Shameless. It's my. Shameless, I'm plugging my own shameless, stuff on like, my channel. Shameless, like three year old plug at this point. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's more just dating the video at this point. Katie, I'm so sorry. I, I don't have any money, but I'll draw as many portraits of you as you like. Please kindly raise your head, Monsieur. It is I who should apologize. I didn't notice the broken shards. It's dangerous, so I, I'll tidy up the broken pieces. Allow me to take this piece from you as well. Wasn't this tea set one of Isaac Dover's works? I heard that it was very important to you. She's got Azula eyebrows. Not there, but like, <laughs> otherwise. Oh, okay. Yes. I, I, wouldn't, I couldn't tell you what those look like. Oh, I just saw the show within the past few months. Oh. But there's no use crying over spilled tea. Besides, I still have another one of those teapots left. Is she not as attached to Dover's works as she used to be? Katie, you're so kind! Oh, that other teapot you were talking about, is it the one on that cart? Yes. Truth is, when I was trying to hide the broken shards, I uh, looked under that cart. And I found a teapot that looked exactly the same, so I switched them. But did it have a different kind of tea in it, and that's why? Really? Yeah! Everything's cool now! I took great care to make sure no one would break that pot! You! Don't brag about that when you were the one who broke it in the first place! <laughs> uh, I'm sorry! I don't mind. Thank you for your consideration. Edgy! Katie is a really nice lady, isn't she? You should reflect on how you cause trouble for people like her. Okay! When I make it big as an artist, I'll donate paintings! In fact, I'll even welcome you in as my own personal model! I think it'd be better if you just stopped causing trouble. I hope you haven't done anything else. I haven't! I just stood around sketching beauties! Sketching beauties? Hmm? Oh, if you're interested, I can let you take a peek! I guess even Mr. Edgeworth is interested in beauties. It's not like that. I just thought it might be another one of his strange paintings. How dare you! I'm very confident in my work this time! Ooh, I want to see too! Oh, I'm glad you're so honest about it, Kay. I'll get it ready, so come check it out later. I guess I'll have him show it to me later. No, we have seen it now! About the sketch you mentioned just now. What?! If you wanted to see my art, you should have been honest about it from the start! Look, here it is. Uh, what is this? Wait, wait. <laughs> okay, first of all, this dude's actually a pretty good artist. Yeah, he is! Second of all, it looks like... <laughs> it looks like, um... I can't think of her name right now, the, the curls. Justine or Delicia? No, Delicia. It looks like Delicia's dumping the body into <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, I better throw this in the mountain. <laughs> also, she looks a little bit like Toad. <laughs> <laughs> I already told you, it's a 
sketch of beauties! Ah, but just to be clear, the beauties only refers to Justine Katie. That other plump lady has nothing to do with that! <laughs> wow. <laughs> then why did you draw her on the same page? Well, I was taking a break from my still life painting when those beauties caught my eye. I guess I just drew them on the same page without thinking. So you're saying that the pictures on this page were each drawn separately? Huh? Oh yeah, uh, I may have drawn them at different times. By the way, there's a drawing of the beautiful Little Miss K on another page. Whoa, beautiful, huh? <laughs> Thanks. Larry, you drew this exactly as you saw it, correct? Well, yeah, even I can't draw what I can't see. I recreated the scene perfectly, even the delicate shades. Delicate shades, huh? Hmm. I don't want to admit it, but this picture might be of help to the investigation. The contents of this sketch and the service cart in the fountain patio. It seems there's a contradiction between the two. I'll need to expose the contradiction using my powers of deduction that no one can let us have. Is that the deduction? Maybe. Could I borrow this sketch for a while? Sure! I could even sign it for you if you like! I think I'll pass. Sketch of beauties data jotted down in the organizer. I feel like that is what, like, Phoenix Wright fan art would be like, though. Yeah. You just go on there and it's just like, here's some hot babes, some hot dudes. <laughs> it's probably well, the, the minty thing. Well, the pots were switched. So wouldn't it be a different tea? Maybe the reason why the Ceylon tea smelled different was because the pots had been switched. Ah, uh, really? The taste of the tea itself did not actually change, after all. Let's go ask Miss Hall about it in more detail. Yeah, whatever. Miss Hall, was the reason why the Ceylon tea smelled different because the pots were switched? Yes, that's certainly possible. It had a fresh minty aroma, not unlike that of uva tea. Uva tea. Uva tea. Uva tea. That's the caveman tea. Uva tea sounds like, um, I don't know. <laughs> is it ube? Ube is like purple yam or something. I don't know. I don't know. It's something like that. That sounds like a rejected PBS Kids show. Ube. Oh, wait, no, that's booba. Booba. <laughs> <laughs> Which was reject Teletubbies. Reject Teletubbies. Ah, oh, I remember now. I prepared some mint tea yesterday. I'm sure that the aroma just happened to remain in the teapot. Mm-hmm. Minty teapot. Is that really all there is to it? Uh -huh. do, 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 do. Normalium. Oof. I was right! She literally dumped normalium in the teapot. A minty aroma was emanating from the pot Larry had re replaced. Miss Hall said that the aroma was left over from the mint tea she prepared yesterday. Indeed. She seemed less surprised to find out that Larry broke the teapot. And more surprised by the fact that the pots had been switched. That's right. Nor normally it would be re the reverse. A broken teapot is much more shocking. She was probably trying to hide this teapot. Hide the pot? Ah, uh, one of the characteristics of Normalium is a minty aroma. There is a possibility that she was hiding Normalium inside this teapot. What?! Inside the pot?! It is only a possibility for now, but it's one worth investigating. Mr. DeBest, I assume you haven't found the Normalium yet. Huh? Uh, uh, oh! I've had the entire art museum searched, but I haven't received any reports yet. And what about you? <laughs> Don't you have any ideas? Only one. I knew it! Nobody but me would be able to find it- Wait, what? You have an idea where it is! Indeed. The- Then tell me! It may have been in this teapot that Miss Hall had used. Oh, uh, this teapot is pretty nice. <laughs> it would make the perfect present for the best prosecutor. It's not a present. It's an important piece of evidence. Oh, it's just evidence. Then I guess I'll have forensics take a look at it. We're the forensics team. We're oh, gonna... yeah, we're I the best. I broke the pot. <laughs> Whoops. Hope you had a backup, backup teapot. A oh, backup, backup. Monsieur Edgeworth, is there something wrong with the teapot I used? This teapot has a minty aroma to it. It's the same aroma as one of the two chemicals used to create the poison gas. Monsieur Edgeworth, surely you don't mean... You suspect me of having set off the poison gas? I do. 
Setting up the poison gas trap in the Autumn Palace would have required some preparation. As the curator of this museum, you're the only one who could have prepared it in advance. I wonder about that. Preparations for the opening of the museum took about a week. And I received help from both outsiders and Madame Delicia. I think there are people besides me who also are suspicious. Of course, Delicia is also under scrutiny. Furthermore, I don't even know how to create something like poison gas. Even if you found normalium in my teapot, there's no way I could have prepared the poison gas. Well then, I look forward to hearing the analysis results of the teapot. Her excuse is that she doesn't know how to prepare the poison gas. I'm telling you, she and Delisha, Delisha's like, yo, I'll get you your cold medicine, whatever, <laughs> that, like, is illegal if you help like me with this. Like the pesticide stuff? It could be. Not, not pesticides, it could be, like, I'll hook you up with some illegal drugs. Yeah. If you're willing to, I don't know. I had that theory, like, something like that, at least. Okay. I made a pink. I must find a way to shatter that excuse. The pink stuff was actually just Pepto-Bismol. <laughs> Pepto oh, can now can we talk to her? Nope. No, we can't. Bom, bom, bom. Can I love the forensics you more in advance? guys standing up on the... That's exactly oh, the same. Oh, okay. I didn't know they were in a different position. Hey, bro. Oh, we've recovered the victim's body! Forensics are currently performing the autopsy! That's me, you know! <laughs> and what of the investigation of the fountain? Oh, uh, the fountain is completely clear. Uh, you should- you can cleanse both your heart and soul of it. <laughs> A body was floating in this fountain just a moment ago, though. You could cleanse your body and your soul. Mr. Oh. Okay. Wow. All the All same dialogue. The yeah. All of the repeat dialogue. Da, 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 da. Ba, da, ba, 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 ba. And we got poison gas right poison here. Poison gas. Whoa! The sass! <laughs> wow! Look at the dancing she's got going on. <laughs> I don't know. A whole lot about the case. Ding! Ah! I'm so sorry. <laughs> Why is Kay singing along with her? That's good. That's I'm funny. glad we showed that. Doo -doo. Did I not examine everything in here? Oh, there's fresh flowers. There's a vase of tulips in front of the door. Probably because this is the spring palace. You know, speaking of spring... It's the moving season! People who have just moved always had to let their guard down. So it's also thieving season! As a great thief, don't you think burglary is a little beneath you? Ugh! You're right! I am. I'm always right. Hmm? This lift trolley has just been left here. I wonder if it was used recently to carry something heavy. The surface of the platform appears to be wet. Hmm. I remember seeing this lift trolley someplace before. You mean during the IS-7 incident? Ah, that's right. I remember now. It was in Dover's room. If I remember correctly, it was used to transport the ice sculptures. The lift trolley has a feature that allows you to adjust the height and angle of the platform. With just one of these, a single person could move the sculptures all by themselves. You can adjust the height and the angle? Can you imagine if two kids found it, they were like, ah! Yeah, basically. Lift trolley, data and jotted down the organizer. Wow, how convenient! I want one too! <laughs> Why is there a lift trolley here? I guess that's something we will need to think about. Yes, it could be related to the case. Alright, well that was one thing we missed. On the shelf are trophies commemorating Isaac Dover's work as Pierre Hoquet. He truly was a first-rate artist. There are quite a number of trophies lined up here. I remember you have some trophies too, Mr. Edgeworth. I would love to have some too, if only there was a contest for thieves. How about it, Mr. Edgeworth? We could hold one at the prosecutor's office! I don't mind you holding a contest, but all the participants would be arrested. Yep. <laughs> There's a maple tree in front of the door. But that door leads to the Winter Palace. Why is, like, George Washington on the wall or whatever? That's just a guy in a hat. With, with It doesn't like, look anything like George Washington. All I can see is some gray by the hair, the black hat, the blue coat, which is like a George Washington thing. Uh, uh. <laughs> it looks like 
I don't know, like a Revolutionary War soldier dude. Just because of the hat. Not because <laughs> of the hat, because of the, the whole getup. Maple trees are autumn trees, so this must have been placed here as a red herring. Well then, how about we freeze it to make it look like a maple tree in the winter? Please don't complicate matters any further. There's a fir tree in front of this door. But that door leads to the Autumn Palace. Fir trees are winter trees, so this must have been placed here as a red herring. Well then, why don't we paint? Why don't we paint it in autumn red? Okay, fir trees are green all year round. I knew that. What have we missed? I think we have to now make the connection that she like swapped the plants. But we have no logic. We don't need to do the logic. I think we need to show it to. I think we need to talk to. Oh wait, her hang again. on. <laughs> so hard. Hey, we found a trolley. Apparently, this lift trolley was here 18 years ago. Yes, it has allowed me to move various things from other rooms into this one. It was intended to carry heavy objects, but it has been quite useful for all sorts of things. I'm curious as to why the top of the lift trolley was wet when we examined it. That lift trolley, I wonder if it was used to move something that made it wet. Hey, Larry drew you. My, is this me? Yes, it's a sketch done by our pseudo-artist over there. This sketch is really well done. Are you giving it to me as a commemoration gift? N no for the time being, this is a valuable piece of evidence. I see. Too bad. To garner such a response from the museum curator, that man has some unexpected talent. Yeah, you suck at judging people's art skills. Nope. <laughs> the sass know. Her sassy face is very, uh, unbecoming. <laughs> yeah. No? Really? <laughs> All right. Do we? Dang. Is there still something else? Oh, I bet. I, yeah. We yes. Now we can deduce because we can deduce that it, the tablecloth is white here, but it's blue in Mary's sketch. <laughs> oh, Eureka! I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Larry, there's something I want to ask you about your sketch. All the way from the other side of the room. <laughs> huh? You want a lecture? <laughs> Sketching from the famous Professor Maurice, do you? <laughs> Just come over here. No, I just need to ask you something. The tablecloth in your sketch, are you sure it was light blue? Yeah, my eyes never fail me! But the one on the service cart here is white, isn't it? Dude. You're always so busy thinking with just your head that you miss the obvious. What's with that look on your face? When I drew that painting, I was using the cart with the tea set on it, remember? Because I was tidying up the broken pottery shards! That's not something to be proud of! And right then, Katie came out of the Winter Palace! I had to hurry and hide the broken teapot so that she wouldn't notice it! He dumped water. She took a very long time getting out of there. <laughs> Chocolate... Did you just say Miss Hall came out of the Winter Palace? That's right! But this time she was pushing another service cart! And the tablecloth was light blue, just like how I drew it. And there's acorns on top of that, it. That was chocolates. <laughs> I'm sure it was, but in that in that uh, photo there, it looked like acorns. <laughs> <laughs> what did she do with that service car? Beats me. Uh, she went into the summer palace with it, so I don't know. And when she came out, she was pushing the lift trolley. The lift trolley. Uh, when I called out to her, she was so surprised that she just left it there. Larry, why didn't you tell us any of this? <laughs> she's so cute when she's shy. A second service cart. And a lift trolley. Maybe there were two tea sets along with two service carts. We'll have to verify it with Miss Hall. Yes. The answer is yes. You heard all of that. Larry was at the opposite end of the room and he heard it. So you must have as well. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Is it true that you keep two service cards on the premises? Y yes Is there something wrong? Earlier, I was looking at one of the sketches from that so-called artist, and... I noticed that he had drawn the cart's tablecloth light that blue. That is so... 
I mean, the only It's reason more I... obvious when you look at it on the laptop screen. Okay, that makes... I was about to say... It's Stop so... looking at the secondary monitor. You know why I do that? Because my eyes are so bad. It's barely bigger. It's way bigger. This is tiny. It's huge. It's a little bigger. That's way bigger. Light blue? Are you sure you weren't mistaken, Monsieur? I only ever use the tablecloths that are pure white. That's true. The tablecloth here doesn't have a single spot on it. Yes, that's because I always change them immediately whenever they get dirty. Did Larry really get the color wrong then? That wouldn't be surprising. What were you doing when the sketch was drawn? At that time, I was just doing my job as usual. Then could you tell me exactly what that work entails? <laughs> well, I have Kate's a gas job. burner. <laughs> <laughs> what were you doing when you were drawn in this sketch? Well, I didn't know I was being drawn. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> From the looks of the drawing, it doesn't seem like you were transporting the tea set. It also looks like there's a scar going across her face, but I know it's hair. <laughs> oh no, scar's, scar's ghost. ghost. <laughs> this was when I was delivering chocolates to all the people in the investigation. Oh, it was Give Me Candy Day. Ah, <laughs> oh, how nice. Chocolates. I wish I could have gotten some too. This is basically like an art museum with the Ghirardelli shop inside where they would give out the free samples. <laughs> I want that. There are still a few left, so please eat these then. I made them myself though. It's possible they may not suit your taste. Woohoo! <laughs> thank you so much! Hmm, thank you. Perhaps it's because she had them in her pocket, but it looks like they've melted a bit. That means there are no preservatives in it, so it's really good chocolate. <laughs> yeah, it's not M&M's. Mmm, the sweet goodness! <laughs> I'm happy to hear you say that. These chocolates are a little misshapen, but I'm glad to get some sugar into my system. Although, they're a little too sweet for my taste. Milk chocolate is the best, Edgeworth. Milk chocolate's great, well, What do you mean there's still more? He's, he's more of a dark chocolate kind of man. Milk, milk chocolate's good. White chocolate is, like, fine. Dark chocolate, depending on the darkness, is also good. The darkness. Where did it, it come, come from? from? We have to examine the fountain or something? Oh, yeah, I guess we could. Oh. It appears the body has already been recovered by the police. Yeah, duh. Why was the body of the victim from 18 years ago found floating in the fountain? I mean, wouldn't the body have gotten all goopy after 18 years? I don't know if I would call it goopy. It certainly would have required a special method to preserve the body. They preserved it in a uh, peanut brittle. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if such a method even exists. Hey, Mr. Forensic Scott, any new information? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, normalium and fatalium have been detected in the fountain water. Uh. They, must have found, they must have flowed through the stream from the Autumn Palace to the fountain. Uh, aside from the chemicals, we also found high levels of sugar. We're working hard on investigating it. Sugar in the fountain water? What could have caused that? Maybe sugar. Oh, yep, that was what we had to do. Sugar encasing the dude. I thought we did that last episode. This is Edgeworth. It's Gumshoe, sir! Oh, I forgot about Gumshoe's existence. <laughs> oh. <laughs> did something happen? Actually, uh, right now, all the investigators but me have left the Winter Palace. So I can finally tell you what we found! It's not good for a detective to be leaking out information about the investigation, but his resourcefulness has saved me many times these past few days. It's true. All of the sculptures in the Winter Palace have melted. Cool. There's still some liquid left in the cases, but yeah. There's less than the Gemini. There's less in the Gemini case than in the Taurus case. Huh. There's still liquid in the glass cases. Yes, sir. We just investigated the light blue liquid a moment ago. We only detected sugar in the Taurus case, but... For some reason, in the Gemini case, we detected three different substances. Three substances. They consisted of sugar, salt, and blood. Blood? Blood and salt were detected in the Gemini case. I wonder whose blood it could have been. I've asked forensics to look into it, sir. Right, I leave it to you, detective. Uh, that reminds me, the forensics investigating the fountain patio contacted me. Man, he has a weird voice. It seems the sugar found in the fountain matches that found in the light blue liquid. Oh, that sounds like valuable information. Liquid analysis results jotted down in the organizer. Good. Is that all the new information you have for me? 
Ah, now that you mention it, oh, we found a rainbow light device in there too. The device was used to disguise the Autumn Palace. It seems the device that was used in the IS-7 incident is also connected to this one. I should listen to what Delicia has to say about that. I have to go back to the investigating now, sir. When we get the results of the blood tests, I'll let you know right away. Yes. Thank you, detective. Whoops. Um... I don't care, McCoppy. You suck. <laughs> Thank you, detective. Was that Gummy calling? That sure was a long call. Hmm. But thanks to him, we now have an important piece of information. Whoa, is Kate, like, like seven feet tall, or is Edgeworth really short? I think it's just perspective. Place your bets. Uh, maybe. In order to break Miss Hall's alibi, I'll need to talk to everyone involved in the IS-7 incident. Well, we'll have to do that next time, because we are out of time for today. Thanks yeah. for watching, everyone, and I hope you tune in next time. Maybe we'll get to another kit to be continued. That would be sure to be great. Yeah. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless. This case will never end.